What's the old saying? You show me your five friends and I'll show you who you are. Who are you surrounding yourself with? When you're on a mission, when you've got success in your radar, when you've got ambition, you've got to be around like-minded people. Who are the people that are closest to you? What is their mindset? Are they positive? Are they negative? Are they toxic? Are they bringing down your dreams? Are they trying to tell you, hey, it might not be a good idea, but I'm just trying to tell you for your own benefit so that you don't get hurt? That's a bunch of bullshit. I'm talking about surrounding yourself with great people. Les Brown says it great. He says, OQP, only quality people. There's so much truth to that about what we do with our daily habits, how we spend them. Am I coming home drinking or am I coming home and learning more? Whatever it is, those people that are closest to you, they're the ones that have gotta be right there with you. It's up to you to decide who those people are. Just because someone's around you doesn't mean you need to include them. You've gotta make sure that your circle's tight. You gotta make sure that the people that are around you are positive, they're not negative, they're not toxic, they don't shoot down your good ideas, they don't try to play devil's advocate. What are the habits of the people around you? When they get off work, are they going home and having a beer? Playing video games? Are they watching TV? Are they tuning into webinars? Are they going out to network events? Are they meeting new people? Are they bettering their life? Surround yourself with people that are bettering their life. Those are the ones you want to be around. They're going to give you encouragement to better your life. When we spend time with people that cause us to drift, that's the best way for me to explain it. There's a lot of drifters in this world. The favorite thing of a drifter is to have someone drifting with them. So when you're focused on your dream and your mission and your friends calling you and saying, you don't hang out anymore, you don't come to the bars. Yeah, I'm not wasting my time going to the bars anymore because there's no value in it for me right now. I'm not just gonna drift through life and hope what I'm trying to obtain lands in my lap. I'm gonna spend every minute chasing it. And the quicker that you make the decision, hey, we might not have as many similar interests anymore. And the friends that are going to the bars, friends that are going out, playing the video games. Don't get me wrong, I love playing some video games every once in a while. But I focus, I know that that's a rarity, that's an occasion. What I'm talking about is the daily basis. Is your friend calling you because he's reading books and you're reading one with him and you're discussing what you're learning? Personal growth is the most important thing you can ever find and surrounding yourself with the people that are doing that too is the best thing you could ever do. So focus, take note of who is in your circle and cut out those that don't belong there. You've got greatness in you and the person that is closest to you sometimes could be the one hurting you. And it's hard to say, hard to accept people that are just stagnant, going through life, taking whatever gives them. They don't have the ambition. They don't understand why you're putting in so much effort and drive to try and accomplish something. You gotta make new friends. They always say, if you're the smartest one in your circle, you gotta get a new circle. So expand your circle. Go find great people similar to you. There's so much opportunity now in the ways that we all connect with each other. You guys have the opportunity, you have the drive, you have the compassion, the skills, the experience. Go get it! It's yours for the taking.